Friday, October 15th. Alright, it's roughly 12 o'clock. I'm heading to Fayetteville to finish Cassie's bathroom. And, uh, yeah. Got a late start, but I'm not going to let that get to me. But, uh, damn, I think I forgot something. Oh well. Anyway, today I'm grateful. I'm grateful that God has not left my side, even though I whine and cry and feel like He has. He truly has. It. Um. You know, I really started thinking that, but secondly, I'm grateful for the opportunity that I had yesterday to bring somebody else to CR. And uh, lastly, I'm grateful I saw something that I didn't, I haven't seen really before. Except when like another meeting came to our meeting but there were quite a few people at CR yesterday and you know it really felt good and you know just seeing people there and some new people just opening up and getting something out of it it was really good and uh person I brought was RT and you know he said he really enjoyed it and you know I believe him and I hope I pray to God that he keeps up with it and he gets the same outcome that I've been able to have <clears throat> and although I'm not where I need to be I haven't finished my step work I still have a long ways to go, my life is a lot better. And I was complaining and upset for a good long while about how I lost my train of thought. Oh, about how, you know, I needed to get back and it wasn't happening and I need to do this, I need to do that. You know, I was worried about the podcast thing because I haven't been doing much with it and all in the same day my pot I got my podcast art and I loved it I love it um, I started recording stuff again and I was talking about it in the meeting and Chris there that's what he does he makes podcasts and I was just blown away by that and you know I was thinking about it on the way home and I was like you know now I don't have an excuse now I got my art which I was saying I didn't have it so that was preventing me from doing this and that and I didn't know how to do this or that I didn't know how to edit and you know God answered all those problems last night, yesterday, and it just blew me away, it's like now I got a podcast coach if I want, and I could even have a co-host, or I could be his co-host, or something, and, you know, just sitting back and looking at it, it's like, wow, man, like, that, that's very impressive, I can't believe that, no, I, actually, I can't, Nothing's impossible for God. Anything He does is He always goes all out. Approaching a railroad crossing. But uh, yeah, I'm trying to get back into my my grind, my my positivity, and although I I haven't 
fallen off and become negative, I've just lost some of my enthusiasm and the, the oomph that I had with it. And, uh, you know, I'm just going with it. And I know that God's plan and God's will is going to prevail regardless of what I do, say, complain about. It's His will is His will. Like, it's, it's going to come. So I'm very, very glad and grateful for that. opportunity and I'm very blessed honestly and I know I'm very blessed and I have a really good feeling about RT and I actually got his prayer request last night and you know he was praying for Nate awesome like to, to have a prayer request of something so selfless and you know trying to help somebody else you know that really inspired me and uh, you know I'm really I'm really grateful for yesterday and, uh, today's a new day Cassie didn't come to the meeting. I kind of already knew that. I don't want to talk bad or bash or whatever, but, you know, I kind of kind of foresaw that coming. Um, and, you know, I just hope that she finds her way. I know that she will. Just like everything else, it's God's will. So I'm gonna continue to just you know keep my keep my distance and keep my opinions to myself and see what comes of it. But uh, I'm actually I'm really happy. Like I'm actually really happy. Just because things weren't. Happening right in front of me, one after the other, like they were. They're happening still. And it's just part of the process. And, you know, once I get it in my head that that's what it is, it's just part of the process. I know that, you know, better things are to come. And I'm very, very grateful to, to know that. But uh, anyway, yeah, God, I thank you for the opportunities that you gave me yesterday and the opportunities that have yet to unfold in my life and for others. And I know that the work that you started in me, you will finish. And that you are going to use me for some wonderful things. And I'm very grateful for that. Lord, I ask that you help me stay focused and determined. that I don't lose sight of what I'm what I'm doing for you. So thank you Lord for this day and everybody in it. And I'm so so very grateful that I'm finally seeing some 
giving back on my part. Lord, I ask that you please, please, please help me. Because he is a really good guy and he has a lot of potential. And just like so many of us, we're such good people and we have so many skills. We just are hung up on uh, a few things that bring us down and cause us to self-destruct. God, I, I trust that if he finds you, when he finds you, that you will also do for him what you've done for so many others. So, very grateful to know that, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for this day and everybody here. Please use me to bring people to you. I am. I give myself and my life to you. Today and every day after this. I got my license letter yesterday and I have my court date on the 9th. And I trust that you bless that situation and may your will be done regardless of anything your will will be done anyway but I'm asking for your blessing with that God I also ask that you help Cassie because she does also have a lot of potential and she has there's a lot of good in her and she just has a few hang-ups past hurts that she's never gotten over and I ask that you please go into her heart and help her to stop being so stubborn and resistant and thinking that everybody's just out to get her because but he's not. So, thank you, Lord. And Brian, too. I know that he's in a funky place right now, and he has his own problems, and, you know, he... Approaching a railroad crossing. I hate it for him. I really, really do. I can only imagine how he feels because of everything that he had and everything now that he now lost. And just everything right down the line. Uh, I thank you, Lord. And just like everything else, this is a process and a learning process for all of us. hope that all these people, you, they find you and you fill their heart with love and forgiveness and a new life. So, thank you again, Lord, for this day. And I ask and pray all this in Jesus' name. Thank you.